Hey guys, Ali here from Local Knowledge. Today I want to talk to you about something that absolutely drives me nuts on my own boat. Tools, right? You have to have them on a boat. Obviously, super, super bad environment for tools. I have a bigger center console and even that at that, my tools always get wet. These are inside my console, off to the side on a shelf, and I don't know how, but they do get wet and you can see my whole kit here is, uh, is looking pretty rough. The other day, I was down working on the boat and I'm like, this just doesn't work anymore. And I kind of stole some ideas that I come up with for my off-road car. I've got a Can-Am and it's obviously space is at a premium and you need to carry tools. And I found a few things on Amazon that really helped. One of them was a tool roll, which was great to put some of my bigger tools in. But the other thing was these little tiny tool bags. And these are awesome for putting like a set of wrenches in or whatever, and then a Sharpie so you can label the stuff. So that's great for off-road stuff, but on-road, you know, and on the boat, keeping stuff dry is always super important. Enter Yeti. So everybody knows Yeti's been making these loadout go boxes. The original one was much bigger, right here. Kind of too big for my boat, for a toolbox, but I do use this on my boat. We call it the big game box. Got all my heavy rigging stuff, my leaders, my wind-ons, my crimpers keeps everything nice and dry, and that's the key. So Yeti recently came out with the Loadout Go Box 15, which these are these smaller boxes, and I was like, you know what? I think this would make a perfect toolbox. I've had these for a little while. I've used them for toolboxes. Uh, I went on a trip and I used it as a tackle box on a party boat, it was awesome. All my stuff was bone dry, carried all the essentials. I've also used them to put big lures in some of those big plugs, the big Rapalas, and some of that other stuff, you can put them all in here with your giant poppers, they'll stay bone dry and in good shape. So let me show you what I came up with to kind of get my stuff organized and how I did it. Okay, so inside the go box, it's like a traditional canister, you know, uh, waterproof case, except obviously built to Yeti standards. I used to use all of those little orange boxes with the foam seal, they break, you kick them, corner blows out, you can't put anything too heavy in them. Then there was the bigger black boxes from one of the tackle companies. The lid breaks, pops off. That was the biggest issue with those. As you can see, Yeti tough, gnarly handle, big latch, O-ring gasket, interior organizer, which these are great, and they have some other uses that we'll do some videos on later, um, and just a ton of open storage space. So here's what I was rolling with. You can see Krusty the Clown. Everything on the outside of this is just in really bad shape. Now it's the middle of the season. I, I don't have a ton of time right now, but there is a couple of products like Neurotic Acid that you can dip these tools in and it'll actually make them brand new. And I'll absolutely do that in the off season. Harbor Freight also carries a couple of products that'll make these things look like new again. But for right now, let's get this done. Let's get back on the water. Okay. so. Here's your box, I'm gonna load it. I also came up with another idea. These are AFCO fish fillet absorbent pads, and these are made to pull moisture out of fish. But in this case, I wanna line the bottom of the box with them, and before I do that, got my old friend WD-40. Still works awesome, it's a million years old. Let's spray a little bit of WD on it and let it soak in there. I actually put two of these pads, and my hope is these will pull moisture out of the thing out of the box and they will also keep whatever's sitting on the bottom nice and uh, protected against rust. So I'm gonna throw those in the bottom and then I'm just gonna start pulling some of this stuff out of here so you can kind of get an idea of what's going in. Obviously, need screwdrivers. As you can see, they got rusty being in the outside of the bag, right? There you go. Another tip, one of the coolest things that I put on the boat and I keep these in hand right under my seat these are Milwaukee screwdrivers. They have all the bits you need inside of them. I never even have to go into the console to get these out. These things are so handy. They've got a nice ratchet to them. They're awesome. If you don't have a set, grab some and throw them on your boat. So here's some of the other stuff that I'm always carrying. You know, I gotta have all my electrical stuff, very important. All my pliers. Gosh, I must have 20 different kinds of pliers in here. and on, and on, and on. And this is all the stuff I use like when I'm working on the boat in the slip, 
but I like to have it on board while I'm running just in case something goes wrong and I'm telling you these things have saved my life more times than I care to mention. So let me show you how I'm going to approach this. Some of these bigger tools are obviously going to have to sit in here by themselves. They're just too big to fit in the organizer. So all of this stuff, tools like this, I want to spray down a rag. Just buy me a little time until I can treat them properly with a little bit of acid. Just wipe them down, get some of this on it. You know, you can lay them on top of the rag, whatever, right? And this is going to make this box in here a little bit greasy, but I can deal with a little bit of grease much better than dealing with a lot of rust. So wipe down whatever you've got that you've already abused. These pliers, man, they need a day off for sure. They're pretty hammered, but whatever. Let's just wipe these guys down. They still work great. Throw these in the bottom of the box. All my big stuff, my bitch inexpensive Klein's got rust all over them as well. And obviously if you're starting from scratch, the rust isn't gonna be an issue. I had this toolkit that's kind of gone with me from boat to boat to boat. And so they have seen better days for sure. I'm gonna lay all these bigger tools here down in the bottom, give them all a little bit of love. You can see the rust just coming off of these things. My crimpers, so these are my electrical crimpers, same thing, let's give them a dose here. Yeah, you can see the rust just coming off on this thing, whole bunch of it. And even the stuff that's not rusty, you know, once a year, I like to give them a wipe down because it will definitely prevent rust in the future. Okay, so that's most of the big stuff in the bottom of the box. We're good to go there. Then, I love these little bags. They're just great for organizing within a toolbox. And I'm gonna make a bag right now for pliers. And I've got them in all shapes and sizes in here, just right on it with the Sharpie. And same thing, I'm gonna kind of rub these guys down, give them a little love. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. These bags, you can get them on Amazon. You just Google small tool bag, or Amazon up small tool bag. There's a few different sizes to choose from. I also have some bigger ones that I use in my off-road car. And this is also a really good time to assess, like what do I actually use, what do I need? My rule of thumb for a lot of this stuff is if I haven't used it in a year, I take it off the boat or put it in the dock box. Okay, so that's all the pliers that I want to go into my new kit. You can see pliers right on it. You can just grab these things out, nice, easy, fast, you're organized. Um, some of the other stuff that I always carry on board is a test light. Circuit goes bad, before you go cutting out that pump or whatever, just make sure it has power. And this is a great tool for it. Again, Amazon, just a couple of bucks. Need a tape measure, I'm gonna put that in there. One other idea I had was I was thinking about drilling out inside of here, making a few holes so I could stand screwdrivers up inside of the case, which would also be a nice feature. I'll wipe all this out, get a little bit of DVD in there too. And then, you know, stuff like flashlights. That's good when you're working down in the bilge. Uh, these are key electrical butt connectors. You want to have the heat shrink ones that have the adhesive inside of them. Get those on Amazon. Sockets with Allens on them. I use these for my tower to raise it and lower it. And then big croissant wrench. Use that for anything. Fuses, super important. I just keep a bag of them and a hose clamp. Those can go in the top, kind of keep you organized there. E-tape, more just generic hose clamps in case one lets go while I'm on the water. Random Allen socket, welcome to the box. Wire brush, super good for getting corrosion off of everything. And I just got a bunch of little loose stuff in here. A couple more small croissant wrenches, give these guys a spray and a wipe down. Let's see, utility blades, perfect for the organizer here. And then the one other thing that I really wanna make up a special bag for is I have a set of ratcheting wrenches in here. They're really small, these are from Husky, Home Depot. 
unfortunately they have not gotten all rusty yet. But these are bitching because they're little shorties and they'll fit in almost anything. Same program. Oh, let me write on this bag first. So I'm gonna wanna put these guys into their own bag as well, just so they don't get lost. And just right wrenches. Toss these guys, I'll give them a little love too. Boom, now you're not hunting around in your tackle box when you need a box wrench. Got a couple other randos in here, scraper, box knife, in you go. Got my top sh shelf organizer here. Juggle that around a little bit. In, and it just fits. So that's kind of all my basic tools that I like to have on the boat. Like I said, if something goes wrong on the water, I can fix just about anything with that kit bigger tools like a power drill and that sort of thing. Those usually live in my dock box. As you can see, I took everything that was in this, oh, Mr. Sharpie, very important. Um, everything that was in here all fit into that Yeti box. I got some oil on it now. This stuff shouldn't rust anymore. Again, at the end of the off season, yeah, I'll probably get some acid, remove some of the rust from these things, clean them up when I do sort of my spring cleaning and throw them back in. But now I don't have to worry about anything else getting wet. I got this bitchin' handle, sucker is heavy. Another thing that I like is these rubber feet. These are awesome because like I said, on my boat, this is gonna sit up on a ledge inside my console. It ain't going anywhere. It's practically glued down. Just a super, super slick solution from Yeti. These things are built to go to the end of the earth. They're gonna keep my tools dry, keep my stuff from rusting, and keep me really organized. I hope this tip worked out well for you. Maybe try it at home. And if you like our content, please give us a like and follow our channel. And if you leave us a comment, let us know what you'd like to see next. Your comments are what shape these future videos. Thanks so much for watching.